Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is me Umar and today's agenda is try to read uh, SQL database uh, from your remote machine. You have a console on that PowerShell and you need to utilize PowerShell commands in order to view databases, tables, rows and columns and then try to find out what you need to find out. Try to run queries of SQL on PowerShell. Okay, the agenda is first of all you need to connect to your um, SQL server which is running on a remote server and then you need to list all the databases on that server SQL server after that once you have seen all the databases their names yeah, you select one database and try to find out all the tables that specific database has uh, of course you need to find out the schema and column names and rows uh, yeah rows depends if you want to see the rows or not okay then you need to try to run a query uh, which is required that how do you want to find uh, someone who's uh, using a file brave.exe let me see if I can write down here brave.exe someone has run this a uh, file on our SQL server and we need to find out who has done this so let me try to go through it step by step well, first of all the server name we are trying to access is NAV dash l127 and I'll, they have configured a user for me which is Omar it has all the um, admin rights on that so I can run the queries first of all you need to do is uh, run your PowerShell console in administrative mode and try to see that do you have SQL commands available in order to see SQL commands you need to give this command get dash module you see all the modules which are currently loaded in your uh, powershell console or shell actually if you don't have uh, sql server you can run this command install module uh, sql server if you run this command it will go on your default website default repository and download it from there and install it for you so you don't need to worry all right first of all i want to show you that um, let's see if I have get um, SQL instance I will try to find out which instance uh, is available on that server which is called NAV-L127 I will give, give my credentials here uh, username only it will ask me for password and I will give the password here uh, as you can see the instance name is also the name of that server so let's try to run uh, see the database of uh, a specific server SQL um, a database and then again you will you have to give server instance server instance 127 um, credentials your credentials here you go as you can see this uh, specific server this specific instance of SQL server which is running on that computer has got one two three four five six six tables I'm interested in seeing a uh, table name process I want to see the process table what is going on with that uh, database actually this is the name of database process all right now let's see if I can find out uh, which tables this database has in order to do that I will give this command dollar sign a is equal to get SQL database name sir server instance one two seven and then database name process and again I have to type the whole word here because otherwise it will give me error credentials oh my what I'm doing is I have created a variable um, dollar sign a and I'm trying to return an object of that whole database name process it will save all the values of process the schema the table information and all those things in this variable called dollar sign a let's see if it runs a command I have to provide my credentials once again there you go 
uh, now I don't know what is the um, what are the members what are the properties of this uh, object called process which is saved in my variable uh, dollar sign a so let's try to find out the properties of this specific um, object which is return get member get member minus yeah let's see what it uh, yeah it has got lots and lots of members now I will run this command once again uh, I will say that it has you can see here it has tables yeah so if you want to find out specifically tables if it has tables or not just give this command you will see that it um, this object which is saved in um, dollar sign a the whole object of a database called process has a property called tables right well, let's continue now now I will see uh, which type of tables it has list the tables we can do it uh, simply by doing yeah it will give me all the objects all the tables this database has this database has only two tables proc and sys diagrams uh, and the schema name is dbo dbo but right, now I need to run my actual query which will read values um, according to my requirement uh, read SQL data table again server instance uh, I will give my server name which is now dash L123 127 my credentials again it will come like this and now now I need to mention database name which is process here I will write a uh, table name table name which is proc now I need to mention the schema name schema name which is dbo dbo let me try to make it a little bigger so that you can see it properly dbo alright let's see what it says I'm here and I'm going to type top where um, top two rows only it has some error let's see where is the error it says failed to connect okay maybe my credentials were not correct let me try one more time all right now you can see it has uh, given me two rows top two rows from this um, table this table which table proc schema dbo uh, database name process which is lying on the server called nav l127 uh, with the username omar okay now you can see you know there are three columns only which columns you want to search what do you want to search you want to search a file called brave.exe do you think you can find it out and who was using that file who was logging uh, at that time and who uh, has run that exe called brave.exe I will repeat this command once again and I will say give me top 10 uh, of those values where where uh, path where the column name path might have path you can go on the other, other side yeah now I'm here as you can see uh, let me try to make it a little bit smaller so that you can see it properly yeah uh, or you can just make it bigger like that if you are coming here yeah path like press tab and you will complete it uh, brave let's see what happens I don't know if it's right or wrong but let's see okay I think I have committed a mistake or something typo it was just a typo okay as you can see I can run this command one more time without these double quotes yeah again I'll provide my credentials you can see the same result all right now you can see the username the name name column has my name I have run this command sometime uh, during this time like 7 31 p.m. Uh, this was the path of that uh, exe which was run so now you can conclude that first step uh, the agenda is completed here first you try to connect with the remote server called nav l127 you have connected to the uh, you have seen all the databases on that server 
then you need to find out the tables of any specific database you found out that by uh, returning an object in a variable uh, you use the property called table and you found out that it has two or three tables let's say and then you uh, ran your command using schema column name uh, and your criteria and at the end you knew that when and who ran this exe file uh, yeah i'll keep on uploading more videos related to powershell uh, let's say every week or maybe every alternate day thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel cheers bye bye